Hey folks here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video unboxing and first impressions look at the Xiaomi Amazfit M band. The M stands for movement. In Chinese, it's also Mi Dong. And it's unique because previously, Amazfit have released products like the Xiaomi Mi Band 2. This is the Amazfit Arc, and they're all pretty traditional fitness tracker that have a small black and white OLED display. This one here has a full uh, color display that's also a touch screen. So it uh, seems a bit more fancy, more similar to uh, trackers maybe by Samsung that has a curved display. So it looks a lot more elegant and high-tech. The pricing is roughly 60 bucks. You can find it on Gearbest in the links below and it uh, competes again with other low-cost trackers and maybe even some low-cost smartwatches like the uh, Amazfit BIP, although the functionality is still a little less uh, advanced. It does also offer 50 meter waterproofing, so it uh, is again something you can take with you when swimming. Of course it also tracks your sleep in, in addition to your activity. It has a curved Corning Gorilla Glass 3 display. It has an optical heart rate sensor Answer. Battery life is rated at 12 days on a single charge, which is still pretty good, but it's not quite as long as a month, which you got on the Amazfit BIP. So the color screen will drain power a little bit faster. All right, so this is what uh, the packaging looks like. Very simple. Now, I do have to mention that this version is the Chinese model because currently the Amazfit band or the M band is a, a product that was only released in China. So as a result, uh, if there are any kind of languages or text displayed on the screen, it's gonna be in Chinese. There will be f future firmware updates and an international English version that should be released in the coming months. Lifting it up, we have just the tracker on the very top here. Very simple presentation as always from Xiaomi. I'll take a closer look at this in a second. Underneath here, there is a quick kind of a user manual that is documented probably in Chinese only at the moment, but it seems to be very simple. Just download the app, which is just the same uh, app that we've always used, and I'll show you in a moment with other Amazfit products. Uh, it looks like this cable, which is provided for charging, has a magnetic kind of pin system, and it uses a simple USB-based uh, connector, and then on the other side, there's just two contact pins. It takes roughly two hours to completely charge, and afterwards, again, you get roughly 12 days of rated battery performance. Again, it looks very sleek. It is slightly larger than the Amazfit Arc, as you can see here, because it has that full color display. But in terms of pricing, it's actually very similar to the Arc, and uh, it's a little bit more expensive than the Mi Band 2 at this point. But again, you do have a, a more sophisticated look, in my opinion. Um, with that being said, the color display, again, although it shows you more notifications, it has the ability to show more status and icons will drain battery a little bit faster so that is a trade-off uh, it looks like there is a protective wrap maybe we can unpeel this and there we go the strap here definitely seems a little bit more uh, high duty than the one on the Amazfit Arc. It seems a little bit larger. The accents here are made out of aluminum and metal. And then here we have the optical heart rate sensor, which is made out of glass, contact pins for charging. The band itself has a construction that is made out of aluminum. The band itself is, of course, soft touch silicone. And the edges here are made out of what looks like kind of chrome, but it's actually made out of metal. So the build is fairly good. Screen here, as you can see, oh, it's on already, is a 2.5D curved display at the edges. So again, it does look uh, more expensive than the price would suggest. There still seems to be a very small capacitive sensor on the bottom for turning it back on if you don't want to use gestures, but everything else should be you know, operational just by swiping left and right. You can see here immediately that we have menu systems in Chinese, but uh, they are still pretty simple because you have icons that give you a hint of what they do. So this is just going home and this will show you your heart rate, number of steps walked, uh, distance walked, calories burned, and hours sitting. And down below here, these are just notifications when you have it connected to your phone. It's capable of showing Facebook, Twitter, WeChat, text messages, so that's pretty cool. That is a feature that you don't get on something like this or the Mi Band 2. Here we have a weather forecast app, which is also kind of nice. There is an alarm clock that you can set up only through the app at the moment. Swiping from the edges seems to take you back, which is a gesture. Here is a stopwatch function, very simple interface. It seems very snappy and uh, quite responsive in terms of the touchscreen. That's it. And of course, in settings, it looks like it can change the time and date, the brightness of the screen, and take a look at the firmware information. But uh, no way to change this into English 
at the moment. Uh, there aren't as many kind of smooth transitions as you can see there, just because the processor obviously gonna, isn't going to be as fast as something like the Amazfit uh, uh, Pace, which is running on a full version of Android. But uh, nonetheless, it's good enough for this simple operating system. Home screen here just shows your time, date, number of steps. And if I swipe down, it tells me that I can uh, you know, turn this into the sleep mode or the silent mode, Bluetooth connection status, battery life remaining, and that's pretty much it. So a very simple and straightforward interface. The app is simply called Mi Fit. It's the same one that you would use for the Mi Band 2, the um, other Amazfit products as well, with the exception of the Amazfit Pace, which is their flagship uh, kind of Android-powered smartwatch. So the interface is very simple. You just go into Profile, and then on the very bottom here, afterwards you add a device, and you would simply tap on Band. And if, with Bluetooth turned on, it's automatically going to pair after a few seconds. Once it's paired, it's going to push a firmware update, if there is one, and it will sync the time as well as the uh, information. Uh, in the uh, kind of uh, app here, you can also set up your profile so that so you can have an activity uh, goal. So it wants you to reach maybe 10,000 steps a day. You can also set up things like your height and stride length to better calibrate the sensors on the watch. And you can also use this to look at the status, such as how many steps you've walked, how many hours you've slept, and uh, track this over time. The interface, of course, is pretty clean, and we've gone into this with more depth in the previous reviews. So you can check out those videos if you're interested. So the app itself is fairly simple. Again, it's just using the standard Mi Fit app instead of relying on a brand new application, which is nice. All right, so that's pretty much it as far as our unboxing and first impressions look at the uh, Xiaomi Amazfit uh, band, or the M band. And uh, as far as Amazfit's collection, it definitely is growing now. Um, you know, we came out with the Amazfit Arc, which was kind of their entry level uh, a fitness tracker with a uh, pretty good style and performance. And then of course there was the BIP, which was uh, something that's low cost. It's more of a smartwatch. And then there was the Pace, which was their round Android powered flagship. And now there is the Band or the M Band, which is their color touchscreen tracker that has a very similar feature set to this one, but uh, with notification support, with weather support, and of course a beautiful touchscreen. So you can check out more details about this in our upcoming review, but for now this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the Amazfit M Band.